Alright, uh, back to the same place where I took my very first video. Uh, not finding much. We've had a lot of, you know, up here has had a snow, rain, rain last night, and the water is still not flowing the way it was the first time, the very first time I came here. Uh, it's a little better than uh, when I had done my first video, dripped on by the trees. Uh, a big old rock over there. That ruined the shot. Uh, there's some icicles on it, but I decided to see if I can isolate you know, just above that little clump right there. Just above that little clump. And uh, I don't want that in the frame. I'm going to try to cut it off at the top. And just get these rocks. And then on the way back, uh, there's another one I can set up on the rocks. Kind of got to sit down, get the camera real low, and uh, get under this fallen tree. A lot of fallen trees here. Kind of ruins the ruins the scenery until they you know, get a little old and, and start to break down into the scene. So, all right, let me get set up, and uh, I'll have to use my 150 millimeter. I had a longer lens, I would definitely put that on. My 65 is going to be way too wide. Alright, let me get set up. Sony batteries didn't last long, that's why I ordered a second one, but damn, one battery down already. Alright, well, I have two more sheets of film, uh, so I take a picture of this, uh, it might be one of the waterfall, one of the four trees going out of the rock, not sure, uh, that's going to be, probably just disappear with black and white. I will say, well, I gotta get set up under the tree uh, like I did for the B-roll. Can you set up?
negatives are dry. Okay, they're back over there. Uh, I took four pictures. Sorry, not a lot of B-roll on uh, <clears throat> in the field. Uh, it was a rainy day. Well, the rain had ended, but uh, the water dripping off the trees. And I don't know how waterproof the new camera is, which I don't think it is. I did two pictures of each waterfall. Uh, the one I underexposed because uh, I didn't have the reciprocity failure for Fomapan. I took a guess. It was a 15-minute exposure. Sorry, 15-second exposure. So I doubled it, <clears throat> and then I thought about it and uh, decided to go 45 seconds, and that one turned out much better. Second waterfall, I did two uh, exposures, one at F22 and one at F11, and you can definitely see the difference in the water. Uh, one smoother than the other, so I'm going to print both of those, and I'll scan them in, see which ones you guys like better. All right, let's uh, do a test strip of the first waterfall, and we'll go from there. All right, I decide to crop in a little bit. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, that tree I was trying to get away from, uh, it's in the photo. There would be a little twig sticking out in the corner there, but that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Composition-wise, this foreground rock, and then just leading the curve off to this rock, and then you can view the back. And that's what I was looking at. All right, let's do a test strip. All right, uh, tones actually look good at six seconds. Uh, so the water's still, you know, white there in the darker spots. It's getting a little, you know, more toward middle gray. Uh, this rock looks pretty good as far as not too dark, not too light. And the rocks in the back are looking good. Still got some decent blacks. So we're going to make a full print and uh, see what we get. Dragging you guys over here. Let's see what this camera can do in the dark. Uh, right now it's at <clears throat> ISO uh, 6400, but the footage still looks cleaner than, uh, than the GoPro. Using my favorite Ilford Pearl. Last video when I was using uh, fiber base, uh, it was a matte. Right, six seconds. I had a real hard time. Uh, Figuring out what side was this emulsion. Right, let's go develop it. First exposure, uh, six seconds. I think I'm going to need some uh, split contrast. Uh, just looking a little too too contrasty. Uh, so I'm going to try uh, contrast zero. Uh, see if I can get a little bit. I know the water is pretty smooth at a 45 second exposure, but I'm going to see what I can get. See if I can make it look a little different. This section here, it's just looking a little too white. So there's the difference. This is contrast zero for 12 seconds. It just yeah, it gave some definition to the water. And yeah, you can see there's still some white areas, but 
you know, it just gave more definition uh, so you could kind of see the flow, look, the little lumps and, you know, of the water moving. And I also dropped the initial exposure back to five seconds instead of six. So we're going to do a full print of this and see how it looks. Uh, even the top of this rock is so not as bright. All right, pull the filter. Got to push record on the other section. Uh, at least you guys don't have to suffer through the 12 seconds of contrast zero. And here's five seconds, no filter. And we'll go develop it. Anyway, what I was saying when the recorder was off, uh, I have to make some more room down here. Uh, when I was in the field, you know, all my tools are here. And now that I, you know, because now I do sales. Uh, so I had a lot of tools. And they are everywhere. Yeah, looking pretty good. Definitely a little darker on that rock. We can you know, see the details in the water. to the stop bath okay so there's the uh, original print and here's the next one up uh, much more detail in the water uh, plenty you know this rock here more detail on the top all in all uh, I'm going to accept that one the way it is. All right, uh, let's uh, reload the negative with one of the other ones. Uh, we'll do the one with a little more information in the water first, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, test strip. Uh, six seconds, looks like it's given some information in the water. So we're just going to go straight with that, uh, see what we get, whether the rocks are going to be too dark. Uh, maybe we can do a little dodging, but until we get the full print, uh, not going to know. And test strips are nice. Uh, they do save you money, but uh, sometimes you just need to see the whole thing. So let's print one up and see what we get. So after the test strip, that's just straight six seconds. Yeah, the water looks fine. A little darker down here to bring your focus in the air. Uh, rock's way too dark. So I tried split contrast. I went uh, 10 seconds and three seconds. So the rocks look better. This one's a little too light. Uh, the water was crap, so I went 20 seconds, 3 seconds, not looking too, too bad. I figured I'd do 6 seconds for the whole thing, but used two dodge tools to dodge this area and this area, and I guess I caught the water. So this is... Burn this area in uh, with a burn tool. And then what I did is I set it on six seconds. And it, since I got this at my six seconds, I used my hand, let this burn in for three, and then let it go. Uh, not too bad. Uh, it's still a little contrasty. It kind of all draws your focus right into the center there. 
Uh, so I'm not going to waste any more paper. But I am going to print the other one. And I'm going to give it the same attention. Because it's the same picture. Uh, basically the same exposure. Just different f-stop. That This one's a smaller f-stop than the other one. So we'll see what we get out of that using all the same settings. All right, I figured I'd bring you guys over here and uh, let you watch me burn up a sheet of paper. I have no idea if this is gonna work. So we're going to do the same thing we did to the other one. Set it for a bunch of time. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Let's just keep burning this in as you're moving it all around. All right, now we will do six seconds since we kind of burn that waterfall in. And we are going to do one. Two, three. Not sure if I got it right, but let's go develop it. Okay, this is the first print. I uh, gave it the same treatment as the other one. Uh, I burned all this area in, and then three seconds, and the rocks are way too light. Uh, so I tried just straight six seconds. And of course, the rocks got too dark. Uh, water still looks the same. tired of throwing paper at this one. And I'll explain why. And so here's the final one I'm stopping at. Uh, six seconds. Dodged each rock separately. I could probably went a little longer here, but uh, apparently there's a hole in the emulsion. One hazard of using foam pan. Uh, it's known for mm, not the best quality control. I'm not going to play with it. it. It just I burned up way too much paper trying to get it right. I figured the other the other one went <laughs> so easy. I figured these were going to go easy, but apparently not. All right, uh, let's wrap it up. All right, that's the end of the uh, print session and. Burned up a lot of paper, but learned some things, and that's what it's all about. Uh, I believe this is my favorite one. Uh, I thought this one was going to be, this one's not too bad, just a little more contrasty than I like. Uh, note to self, don't shoot waterfalls with black and white film. <laughs> all right. Uh, that uh, wraps up another one, and I have an idea for the next video. Uh, we'll see how it pans out. Uh, so, 
Uh, if you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, you know, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you next time.